fam, I was gonna film outside, but like, TBH, it's cold. So we're going back inside. I've got a lot to tell you guys. I can tell you all about the new exclusive moveset for Amp Furrows coming to you this April 15th, the Marie Community Day. But first, we gotta go snuggle with a puppy. Let's go. And here's the other cool thing, is that I got a new camera. Um, my old camera was stolen. So if you wanna know about that story, uh, stay tuned till the end of the video. I will talk about it at the end. But I know most of you guys are here. You just wanna know about the Amphros move set. So let's go talk about it. And welcome to my Airbnb in Kansas City. Here's the little one that we're gonna go snuggle with. Hi, her name's Beanie. So guys, this is Beanie. Say hi to Beanie. Hi Beanie. Obviously Beanie likes to chill out with me. So we're gonna talk about the new Pokemon Go exclusive move set coming to you this Ampharos Community Day. But before we get into that, we gotta tell you guys about why am I in Kansas City anyway. Um, I have an EX raid on the 7th and it's gonna be very close to where I was before for where I did the meetup at the plaza. So check out the map right here. If you guys know where that is, I think it's at the intersection um, at a bank. I think it's 47th and Roanoke. And it's gonna be at the M&I Bank where that awesome, uh, kind of like vase-like sculpture is gonna be. So if you wanna come out to see my EX Raid, that is gonna be on April 7th at 10.30. Come out and say hi. I'm gonna be trying to do a trio. That's a three-man. We're gonna take down this Mewtwo. Let's hope that it's gonna be my best IV one yet. Wish me luck in the comment section below and also, when you're in the comment section, let me know, how many Mewtwo's do you have now? I talked to somebody yesterday, Ken in Philadelphia has eight Mewtwo's, that is insane. So let me know how you guys are doing on EX Raids, or if you're still struggling to try to get one. And remember, if you still need an EX Raid Pass, just go to your local parks or sprint stores or some kind of sponsored store um, that has a gym, and you're probably gonna get an EX Raid Pass. Good luck to you guys. Also, when you're in the comment section, let me know, do you have your Mew yet? Um, this is my Mew right here. It's just so freaking cute. And I made an error in my last video, by the way. Um, I was just so tired, guys. I had been awake for like 32 hours. Um, the best move set for Mew is actually this right here. So remember that when you're trying to go through all the different variations of TMs that you have to put <laughs> into for a Mew to get that best move set. And thank you to Pokey AK for doing so many Mew videos, testing out all those cool movesets and seeing which one works the best, so thank you. Now, let's get on to the moveset that Ampharos is gonna get this Community Day. Remember, Community Day is only three hours, so what that means is you gotta pay attention to what time zone you're in, because I know in Philadelphia, it's from two to five p.m. Here in Kansas City, it'll be 1 to 4 p.m. and I believe if you're in California it's gonna be like 11 to 2. So always pay attention to what hours those three hours are for your community day in your city. Remember that you always want to be checking all of your Mareeps. It's never confirmed if there's gonna be a shiny Pokemon but by now it's pretty obvious that the featured Pokemon is probably gonna be a shiny. Not confirming it but Come on guys, it's pretty obvious at this point what they're doing for the featured Pokemon. And remember that you have to evolve either a Mareep into a Flaffy into an Ampharos, or you can evolve a Flaffy into an Ampharos in order to get the exclusive moveset. And the exclusive moveset is Dragon Pulse, yes. Check it out, here's an awesome screenshot. I wanna say thank you to Niantic for giving me this footage and the screenshot. Obviously, Niantic loves to get the word out and they're taking advantage of us awesome Pokemon Go YouTubers. So thank you, Niantic, for helping us get everybody hyped up for Community Day. I'm hyped. I know that a lot of people were expecting Ampharos to get an electric move, but actually, Dragon Pulse is really good. Ampharos maxes out at 26.95 CP. It's got a pretty even stat field at attack at 211, defense 172, and stamina 180. So honestly, Ampharos has pretty even stats. Just being electric type, it only has one weakness, and that's ground type. Honestly, Ampharos is pretty easy to use in battle because you already know it's only got that one weakness. And plus, it's very resistant to flying and other electric types. According to Game Press, they say that Ampharos is a pretty solid Pokemon all around. With only one weakness to ground type Pokemon and being able to learn Focus Blast, which is actually great against ground types, Ampharos can stand up on its own. 
So what are Ampharos' best moveset before it could learn this new Dragon Pulse move? Well, you had access to Charge Beam and Volt Switch. And for Charge moves, you had Zap Cannon, Focus Blast, and Thunder. But now that we have Dragon Pulse, Ampharos is going to be a very interesting Pokemon to encounter in a gym. However, if it's a shiny, you can pretty much bet that it's going to have this awesome new Dragon Pulse move. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Dragon Pulse. Now, let's compare Zap Cannon and we can compare it to the new Dragon Pulse. Zap Cannon has a base power of 140 with only one charge bar, so it's a really powerful move, but it's going to take a long time to power up. Zap Cannon's DPS is 37.84 seconds. Now, let's compare that to Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse has a 90 base power and it's two charge bars, so ultimately 180, and it's got a DPS of 25. So obviously Dragon Pulse is a great moveset. I mean, it's really powerful. You get two charge bars, a lot like how Frenzy Plant was, and you can fire it off very quickly. So if you want a Dragon type move for your Ampharos, you can't really get much better than Dragon Pulse. What other Pokemon can learn Dragon Pulse anyway? Seedra, Shelgon, Dragonair, Altaria, Horsey, Dragonite, Gyarados, and Lapras. All of these Pokemon could learn Dragon Pulse. Well, of course, Dragonite, Gyarados, and Lapras had legacy movesets for Dragon Pulse. But it's really cool that finally we have a cool electric type Pokemon, actually the first one in Pokemon Go, that can learn Dragon Pulse. I'm definitely going to be teaching it to my Ampharos. Well, actually, remember, you cannot use TMs. You can't use the charge TMs or fast TMs in order to learn Dragon Pulse. The only way to get Dragon Pulse for your Ampharos this April 15th is to evolve a Flaffy during the three hour window for Community Day. Remember, you can either evolve a Mareep into a Flaffy into an Ampharos or you can evolve a Flaffy into an Ampharos and they don't have to be caught that day. Just like how Dratini was, it's going to stay in the game even after Community Day. So you can still hunt Marie and Bulbasaur and Dratini and of course Pikachu even after the Community Day event is over. So definitely get an Ampharos, try to get maybe a shiny Ampharos if you can. And by the way, let's talk about the shiny Pokemon. Shiny Marie is pink and then shiny Flaffy, guess what? Can you spot the difference? Take a look at them. Do you see it? I'll give you a second. Three, two. One. Did you figure it out? Check it out. Look at the tails. The tail of a shiny Flaffy actually has a green ball at the end, and a normal Flaffy has a blue ball at the end. So good luck to everybody on your Mareep Community Day, no matter where you are. And also, if you're still looking for a Community Day event, or maybe you're hosting your own, go ahead and post that in the comment section below. Maybe somebody's looking for one, so you know what, if you're having a Community Day event, Check that out, scroll through, see if you can go hang out with some people in the comment section. And if you want to come out to hang out with us, I will be in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma this community day. So come out and say hi. Also, I want to give a shout out to the 405 Elite Trainers. Only one link. Guys, thank you so much. I can't wait to come out to Oklahoma. I've never been to Oklahoma. If you're having a problem with your account, you can always submit it to Niantic so that they can take a look at it. I will leave the link in the description box to where you can send Niantic an email about your problems that you're experiencing with your account. So go ahead and take a look at that and see if that applies to you. There's a little drop down menu where you can select any problem that you're having with your account. Okay, and also I also wanna talk about Earth Day. Earth Day this April 22nd is gonna be amazing. If we can get 1,500 trainers outside picking up trash, it is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna unlock two times Stardust for these three types of Pokemon, grass, ground, and water type Pokemon. And then if we get 3,000 trainers outside picking up trash, guys, I know we can do this. I know we can do this. Band together, grab a friend, get some gloves so you're not touching all the disgusting trash. Get out there, we can get 3,000 trainers outside, and then we will unlock three times Stardust for grass, ground and water type Pokemon. Let's clean up the earth, guys. We owe it to the planet. We have been polluting it for so long. We can take one day to set aside some time to clean up all the gross trash that is polluting our planet that humans put there, guys. If you need help locating an event to hang out with other Pokemon trainers for Earth Day, make sure that you also check the link in the description box. I'm gonna put a link to where you can find events for Earth Day for Pokemon Go. There's a few on the east and west coast, but we need more of them in the middle of the United States. There's also a lot going on in Europe, Hawaii, other places. Check the link in the description box to see where the closest Pokemon Go Earth Day event is happening near you. If you don't have a Pokemon Go Earth Day event happening anywhere close to you guys, guess what? It's up to you. 
Take the initiative. Start your own Earth Day Pokemon Go event. Get your friends outside, clean up some trash, and then do a bunch of raids afterwards. I think it sounds great. Clean up stuff and then do a raid train. You've already got all the people together, might as well go play some Pokemon while you're at it. Finally guys, I just wanna tell you about what happened to me on Easter holiday. Don't worry about it, don't freak out about it. It's okay, but on Easter holiday, yes, all my stuff um, got stolen from me while I was out filming DX1. Um, basically, I had my Pokemon Go Travel backpack that had my camera and my tripod and my SD cards, my external batteries, even my Pokemon Go Plus, and my cables, like my USB cables to connect my external batteries to my phone, um, all of that, and my wallet and my keys, and of course like my driver's license and all that stuff, all of that got taken from me. Um, how it all happened was on Easter Sunday, DX1 was catching his meal, so he asked for my help to help him film it. So this is not DX1's fault. So what happened was I was at City Hall with DX1 in broad daylight in the afternoon. We were in front of the north entrance at the arch. What happened was I was filming him. Okay, so I was paying attention to him through the camera and DX1 was catching his Mew. So of course he had to look at his phone. He was catching the Mew. So both of us were paying attention to what we were doing, but we weren't paying attention to what was happening around us. And part of me filming DX1 was I had to lay on my back and I got this like sweeping panoramic shot of him jumping over top of me. If you go watch DX1's new video, I'll leave the link in the description box, you'll see that panning shot where I was actually laying on the ground and he basically kind of like jumped over top of me. So that's why I had to take my backpack off. A lot of people in the comments were like, God, well, why didn't you just keep your backpack on? Guys, I was laying on my back. That's why I took my backpack off. So when I finally got up off the ground and I was done filming DX1, guess what? I got up, I looked around, where was my backpack? It was gone. Ultimately guys, don't forget the number one rule of Pokemon Go. I only had to take my eyes off my backpack for a matter of seconds. Remember that people are probably watching you. They see you with your phone. If you're a YouTuber, they see you with your video camera. People are paying attention to you, especially people that need the money. They're gonna see you with your equipment out. They're gonna be like, hmm, okay. I just need to wait for them to let their guard down. That's what happened to me. I let my guard down. I let my backpack out of my sight for a couple of seconds. Turned around, it was gone. Take a note from me, guys, and take a note from Pokemon Go's number one rule. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Beanie. Can we get some beanie hype in the comments right now? Also, I wanna say thank you so much to Master Six Guns, Lissa Glisten, Dave Hardesty, and Roy Medina. Please, if you like watching my videos and you like trying to support my channel and you like what I'm doing here with the Pokemon Go community, please subscribe, smash the like button, and if you're feeling generous next time I'm live, please become a sponsor on my YouTube gaming channel. It's only $4.99 a month and you get access to all these awesome emojis that you can put into the chat while you're chatting with me. I love seeing those emojis. I love talking with all my sponsors and everybody in my live stream. So if you're a person that usually comes to hang out in my live streams, whether you're just lurking or whether you're actually actively talking, please just become a sponsor. It means a lot to me and it'd be really fun to see more people putting emojis in the chat. The more sponsors we have, the more emojis we can use. So I'm really excited to get that going with all of you guys. And a lot of people have been asking me, do I have Patreon? Yes, I do. You can find the link to that in my description box. Maybe we'll have like a monthly movie night where on Twitch, I will put a movie on with my like little video camera webcam screen in the top right so we can all watch a movie together over Twitch. Let me know if that sounds good to you guys. Let me know in the comments section if you have any more ideas of what I can do on Patreon. And uh, everybody say bye to Beanie. Bye Beanie. And thank you guys so much again for helping me get a new camera. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it because I can't see the screen. So I have no idea what this looks like right now. So I'm gonna be putting um, the footage on my computer and you guys are gonna be as surprised as I am about the clarity or the sound quality or whatever. <laughs> so I hope that you guys like this camera better than my old one. It's definitely considered an upgrade. So I guess here I am with the Sony family. Cheers everybody, and I will see you hopefully soon at either the EX Raid or the Community Day. See you then.